Hey there, shroomers. Welcome back to Mushroom Sight. Imagine being in a forest at night, and instead of total darkness, you're surrounded by these tiny little spots. It's not a fairy tale or a scene from a fantasy movie, it's the magic of our very own natural world. Today, we're talking about bioluminescent fungi. That's right, mushrooms that glow in the dark. Now, you might be thinking, glowing mushrooms? Well, just stick around and you'll be amazed by these fascinating fungi. We've got an illuminating journey ahead, so let's light up the way. If you enjoy this video, please give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing. And if you like mushrooms, join the Shroom Scoop, your weekly fungi fix delivered right to your email inbox every Wednesday. The link is right down below. Bioluminescence, a fascinating phenomenon observed in various organisms such as fireflies, deep sea anglerfish, and some species of fungi, refers to the ability to produce and emit light. The term bioluminescence comes from bio, meaning life, and luminescence, which means light. This intriguing natural mechanism allows certain life forms, including some mushrooms, to generate their own luminescence. Various species of bioluminescent mushrooms exist, such as the ghost fungus found in Australia, the jack-o'-lantern mushroom native to North America, and the Mycena luxaterna or the eternal light mushroom found in Brazil. These fungi are not merely the stuff of fantasy and fiction, but real, tangible organisms that inhabit our planet. Historically, the phenomenon of bioluminescence has been the subject of intrigue and wonder. The term fox fire refers to the eerie bioluminescence glow observed in decaying wood, a result of the presence of bioluminescence fungi. This term and the phenomenon it describes have been part of folklore and tales for centuries. The reason the reason behind the bioluminescence exhibited by these mushrooms prompt a question. Why do these organisms produce light? You see, bioluminescence is essentially a chemical reaction that produces light. At its core, there are two main players involved. One is a molecule called luciferin, which is like the fuel for the glow. The other is an enzyme called luciferase, which acts as the igniter, sparking the reaction. The energy from this reaction is released as light, causing our mushroom to glow. Pretty amazing, right? But why do they glow? Well, scientists have a few theories. Some believe that the glow attracts insects. These little critters drawn by the light annoyingly help the mushrooms by spreading their spores assisting their reproduction. Others propose that the light may act like a deterrent, warding off creatures who might otherwise munch on these glowing snacks. While scientists don't have a definitive answer yet, these theories give us some fascinating insights into the possible evolutionary benefits of bioluminescence. We've talked about the science, the how, and the why of these glowing wonders. But where can you find these luminary marvels? Are they just in your local woods? Or are they scattered all over the globe? Well, let's have a quick tour around the world, shall we? We'll start down under in Australia, home to the ghost fungus, a glowing spectacle that can turn a regular forest into a mystical landscape. Then in North America, there's the jack-o'-lantern mushroom, which brightens up the woods with its eerie orange glow. But it's not just these two. There are about 80 different species of bioluminescent mushrooms, each with its own unique light show, scattered across the world. Some of you have even shared photos and experiences of stumbling upon these natural lanterns, turning an ordinary night into an unforgettable memory. If you want to see them, your best bet would be to a visit of tropical rainforest or warm, humid area, as these are the most common habitats for bioluminescent fungi. It's clear that these glowing mushrooms have an otherworldly charm, but their true magic lies in their potential. Scientists are already using bioluminescent in groundbreaking ways. For instance, they use it as a genetic marker, which is a bit like tagging a specific gene with a glow stick so they can track what's happening. It's like a spotlight on the stage of cellular activity, letting us see the drama unfold in real time. But that's just really the beginning. Imagine a world where we can harness this natural light in practical ways. Picture this. You're in your home and instead of flicking on a switch, you're lighting up your rooms with biodegradable, energy efficient, natural light source inspired by these glowing fungi. Let's take it a step further if you dare. What if doctors could use 
this bioluminescent technology for medical diagnostics. Imagine a future where detecting diseases could be as straightforward as observing a particular glow in a patient's cell. Sound like science fiction, doesn't it? But with the speed of advancement in biotech, this could really be our reality sooner than you think. Now let's take a journey back in time. Bioluminescent fungi have been around for millions of years, and their enchanting glow hasn't been overlooked by human societies. From ancient folklore to contemporary art and literature, these natural lanterns have left a significant mark on our collective consciousness. In some cultures, the glow of these mushrooms was seen as a spiritual symbol, a divine light guiding lost souls in the darkness. There are ancient texts and paintings that depict these glowing wonders, showcasing our fascination with this natural phenomenon. In the Western world, are often called fairy fire, have been associated with magical creatures and enchantments. This sparked countless stories and myths, from fairy circles to spells of witchcraft. Japanese culture has a rich history tied to bioluminescent fungi as well. Hajime! A particular mushroom, Mycena luxcoli, translate to heavenly light. This glowing mushroom is celebrated yearly during a festival in Uda, Japan. The event, known as the Mushroom Observation Society, attracts local and tourists who gather to appreciate these luminary marvels in their natural habitat. Even today, the glow of these mushrooms continue to inspire. They've been the muse of many contemporary artists, photographers, and fashion designers, highlighting the crossroads between nature and art. 